Sevigny from History Hustle and I'm standing here in Tiananmen Square, also known as the Square of the Heavenly Peace here in Beijing, China. And in this video, I'll talk about China after the death of Mao Zedong. After the death of Mao Zedong, there was a power struggle between the Maoist Gang of Four, which was led by Mao's widow, Jiang Xing, and more pragmatical communists, which were led by Deng Xiaoping. And Deng Xiaoping won, and he stated, It doesn't matter whether the cat is black or white, so long it catches mice. A careful start with a free market economy was established. The government put less control on the life of its Chinese civilians and victims of the Maoist terror were rehabilitated. Also, new connections with the United States and the Soviet Union were established. Some Chinese civilians demanded more democratic changes, for example, freedom of speech, freedom of press, or the allowance of non-communist parties within the Chinese government. These ideas were fed by the liberal political course of Soviet Union President Mikhail Gorbachev. But then, on the 4th of June, 1989, it went all wrong here at Tiananmen Square. There was a student demonstration which was bloodily repressed by the Chinese government. 1,500 to 3,000 students found their deaths and countless were arrested. Now, there is no democracy in China. Human rights are violated in Tibet. The Chinese government hunts members of the banned Fulong cult. YouTube, Facebook and Google are banned. However, it can be said, the standard of living of the ordinary Chinese civilian has improved majorly since the death of Mao. And the Chinese economy can measure itself with that of the West, even maybe surpass it.